All right, welcome to Minnesota. The fossil record for Minnesota actually extends back into the Precambrian, which ended about 541 million years ago. During this time, we find fossils called stromatolites, which are mats of blue-green algae. Like most Midwestern states, Minnesota has an excellent fossil record for marine organisms of the Paleozoic era. Because of the types of fossils we find, and because we find them in rocks such as dollstone and limestone, we know that there was once a tropical seaway. This is because Minnesota and the rest of the Midwest states were closer to the equator during this time. From about 349 million years ago to about 145 million years ago, we are actually missing quite a bit of Minnesota's geologic history. This could either be due to lack of deposition or due to erosional factors. In geology, we call this lack of a rock record an unconformity. In the Cretaceous, we have dinosaur fossils, in addition to ammonites and large fishes. We also have plants such as cycads, horsetail, lotus, tulip trees, and laurels. These fossils are from the Dakota Formation, which is an important sandstone formation for understanding plant fossils of the Cretaceous period. While we're missing most of the Cenozoic era, we do have fossils from the Pleistocene epoch. These include mastodon and mammoths, as well as muskox. So right now I am at the Quarry Trail in the Quarry Park in Rockford, Minnesota. Now, I was giving a talk here at Botany 2018 on some fossil fruits, and I had no idea this place existed. So right now I'm actually collecting fossils. Uh, you can collect fossils here, uh, just casually though. Um, you know, no going crazy, you can't, uh, you know, please don't destroy uh, the, you know, the rock units themselves. Um, but if you see fossils along the way, you can pick them up. And I have found a few fossils here, and I've been using our new app, uh, which you can now download from the App Store, and also coming to the uh, coming to iPhone devices as well. And so these fossils here are Ordovician. They're about 488 million years old. I have an ID guide, if I can. There's a visitor center here. Uh, they have these wonderful ID guides that you can pick up uh, that tell you what the fossils are here. And I've just been having a blast. It's absolutely wonderful scenery. I think it's fantastic weather right now. Uh, a few mosquitoes, but other than that, it's all good. Um, what else? So yeah, so some of the fossils that we have, let's switch over. All right, so you know when we're looking at fossils here, we're just looking along the trail and once again, surface collecting like we were in, in Iowa. Uh, these fossils, the fossils here aren't as abundant as they were in Iowa, uh, but that's okay. They're still pretty cool and they're, they're actually older. So here, you know, we have a brachiopod. Uh, I did remove it from the sediment, so you know, it's not totally, like, ooh, uh, I just found this, but it's also not totally staged because that was where I picked it up from. And same with this piece right here. There's a couple other brachiopods uh, in here as well. I soon realized that I was wrong about the abundance of fossils. Later down the trail, I found that there were tons of fossils popping out of the limestone blocks. A word of advice is to wrap your fossils in newspaper in order to prevent them from scratching up against one another or with anything else in your bag. So yeah, this has been a special episode of 50 States of Fossils. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, tell us about fossil areas in, in your neck of the woods. And if you've ever just kind of randomly stumbled upon uh, fossil sites like, like this where you, where you can collect, and that was, that's important to know if you can collect there or not. And I did talk to the people uh, in the visitor center. I called them once I learned about the place and asked them if I, if I could collect. And they said it is okay to, to casually collect, just don't go destroying the rocks. Uh, other than that, uh, be safe, have fun, and be your own paleontologist. We'll see you out in the field, and we'll look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Bye!